And good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. I hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button. The like button helps to keep the video in the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those uh, things, okay? I want you guys to know that I appreciate you so much, all of my old subscribers, all of my new subscribers, all of my future subscribers. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you, okay? I wanted to talk about uh, Shelby County deputies gunned down, um, gunned down a female white, will not be in charge, uh, will not be charged. I wanted to know what, you know, I guess get you all's input and give my input on what I, I feel, okay? Or, or you know, yeah, what I feel and what I saw because I also looked at the video, and I'm going to show the video, of course. Um, the the lady's uh, family is devastated, and which they should be, of course. But um, Shelby County deputies, um, uh, she led them on a high speed chase, and they had gotten a call from her husband or fiance um, about them getting into it. She pointed a weapon at him because uh she was mad okay um about him saying that she needed to to get some help i'm gonna let you all see the video so i'm not gonna go into um you know uh deep details of it but <clears throat> you know a lot of people have mixed feelings you know uh about this now if you me okay um i feel like according to the law According to how police officers are trained, the deputies did what was necessary. And I know when people say, well, that lady wasn't going to do nothing. You can't ever say what people won't do. It's easy for her family to say that, okay, because they know her. But hell, he didn't know either because he called police on her for, for um, pointing a weapon in his face, okay? And so maybe, you know, he said, and I, and I, I hate that this happened, but according to how uh, the deputies are trained, they have to eliminate any threat and they're not just shoot them in the arm. And I think that's what people, you know, um, get misconstrued. Okay. Um, they go, well, how come he just, they couldn't just shoot her in the arm. No, you uh, police officers are trained to eliminate the threat. They cannot pull their weapons. Okay, and shoot you in the arm. If they have to pull their weapons and fire their weapons, they are trained to eliminate the threat. Otherwise, you do not fire your weapon. Right? You do not fire your weapon unless there is a threat. Okay. And if there is a threat, they are trained to eliminate that threat. And I just I think that is unfortunate, you know. But um, I'm happy that Steve Mulroy is not going to charge them because according to what's in the video, and I'm ready to show the video, I want you all to see the video. Um, the officers acted in uh, self-defense I, 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 or, or they, they follow proper protocol. So I'm getting ready to insert the video, okay? Now that you all have had the opportunity to look at the video, you know, I still know that people have like... Um, you know, a difference of opinion. I know people go, she had just love them police. Listen, I went through the academy and I guess because I went through the academy and I got all the way to the end before I have, we had five weeks left. Okay. And I injured my hip. Okay. Um, I injured my hip very badly and had to leave the academy. So um, with me injuring my, uh, my hip like that, you know, um, I had already passed the gun range. I had already passed the law. And those are the two main things, right? And they we spend hours and hours in a classroom learning about the law, okay? Uh, we spend hours and hours down at the range, okay? Um, with them teaching us about gun law and when we're supposed to and why we're supposed to uh, pull our gun, you know? Um, we spent, we, 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 we would be shooting thousands of rounds a day. Okay. Um, on targets because 
it's front and center mass, right? It's front and center mass. It ain't all we, you know, that's that stuff on TV, headshot, all of it is front and center mass. Okay. <laughs> but <clears throat> according to, to what, um, you know, uh, according to what happened, we saw that she tried to pull, she pulled the same weapon, even though they say she was intoxicated. How would the officers know that she was intoxicated? And regardless of whether she was intoxicated or not, she posed a threat when she pointed her weapon at them, right? So I, I really, I hate this for the, for the young lady, but I'm happy that Steve Mulroy is going to follow the law, okay? And you know, Steve Mulroy was a law professor, okay? And I think a lot of people, and I, I like Steve. Steve is okay. I, I've been kind of hard on him because I, I feel like Steve feels like he, he, uh, he wants to save the world. I, I think, you know, he ran on his ticket as being the great white hope to black people, you know, that had that that had all these injustices. But what Steve has to understand is there's way more. And I don't I, you know, I like Steve, but I think Steve needs to understand there is way more black on black crime in the community. And, you know, he talked a lot about um you know, rehabilitation, but don't nobody want to hear nothing about no rehabilitation when some 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 gang banging thug or some sicko has broken up into somebody's house and uh you know sexually assaulted their daughters and and the mama and took taking out the father. Don't nobody want to hear that I'd have a dream speech. You have to lock them mother suckers up. Okay. And so I think, you know, um, that's why so many people had started to complain on Steve. OK, hopefully, you know, with him seeing that people are calling in droves, even the power brokers that really there are a lot of people that wanted for crime to be out of control. And now it's so out of control. I mean, you know, uh, you know, they wanted to be out of control, but. I think it has gotten too out of control. And then Steve, uh, you know, said, well, we, you know, we ain't going to charge him. We're going we gonna to give him some community hours. He going too far. Right. And so, um, yeah, you know, but a lot of people have different, have a difference of opinion as it relates to, and I'm going I'm to go back to that in a few minutes uh, about that Steve Mulroy situation. Cause I, I, I got to think, I get to thinking about how people come into my chat you know, um, it's one thing when you disagree with somebody. It's another thing when you're telling them that they're wrong because they don't think like you feel like that they should think. You know, that really, that pisses me off, you know, because I respect any and everybody's opinion, but can't nobody control me. And I, I see that there's a, <clears throat> a lot of mental illness on here, a bunch of old ass niggas that's mentally ill. Okay. Um, you know what we gonna team up on her because she don't it's all about control you know that that spirit of jezebel can be on men and women and anytime you get mad at somebody because they don't think or do what you feel like they should be doing you sick okay you are sick and nobody controls me i buck against anything that think it's gonna control me i buck against it okay and but anyways as far as 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 the female you know as far as i'm concerned I feel like they did what they had to do according to the law. You know what I mean? What if they had given her the benefit of the doubt? Oh, that's a lady. She ain't going to do nothing. And she had that weapon pointed in her face, had that weapon pointed in their faces, um, you know, and then she drunk and pulled the trigger. That would have been an officer that would that didn't make it home to his family. And then people would have been saying, well, you know, that officer didn't kill, shoot her because she was a female white i'm well you know how black you know they've been going in on the black officers which it does not matter let me say this okay because i know we talk about race and stuff a lot i'm not a racist person i am not a uh, um a colorist or a prejudiced person i believe that we are all created equal even though i know that there is some unfairness and uh, our people are oppressed and things of that nature. I've, I've studied my history. I love reading about my history. That's why I understand that a lot of the positions that we are in today can be changed if we all stuck together. Okay. So, so a lot of what's going on with us now got a lot to do with us. You know, I can't understand why people 
uh, want to hate police officers for one isolated incident. You know, um, instead of um, looking at those particular police officers that commit uh, these crimes, right, um, and make sure that they are uh, given the exact same penalty if they are wrong, right, as any other criminal would be given. But instead, people want to buck against all police officers because folks want their kids and their you know, their sons to be able to go and rob and steal and kill and not go to jail and um and bring them back some of the money okay that's what's going on i know people get mad at me but i don't care i mean i i'm, I'm gonna tell it like it is yes there have been a lot of things that uh, certain police officers have done um white and black <clears throat> where they abuse their power okay but as I always say, the same energy that a lot of these people have with these police officers, I wish that they would have that same energy um, as it relates to what's going on in our communities on a day to day basis with all these black on black crimes. But they don't want that because they friends are ones or people that they like are the ones that's giving these young dudes the hit money to go and take out a young Dolph. OK. All this black on black crime that go on every single day. I don't hear people screaming on every rooftop and then got the mad nerd to get mad at me for doing why she's screaming on every rooftop about black on black crime. It's a, them police CS. Put an S on the end of police. Okay. Them police see them scorpion units doing such and such. Okay. Well, they they fire. Um, I think they got a new team now. So you trying to tell me that the same people that they brought on are the exact same as the people that they fired and that's on tri going to trial? Is that what you, because see, I'm not that shallow. I know there's a lot of mental illness on here, but tell me, because if, if that's how you think, then there is some type of mental illness. Okay, if you go take a job just because the person that was there before you that got fired stole and you take that same position, it would be mentally ill of me to feel like that you are that person that they just took out just because you got the same position. I mean, if y'all on some meds, just let me know and I'll go easy. I'll go ahead and skip on by your, your, your comments, okay? But all of this stuff is consistently going on in our community. And, and yes when police officers act as criminals they got to be dealt with okay but instead people come up with all of this bs about well you know uh them crooked police is i'll take this young dog's case for uh for an instance okay and it's some things i don't i don't even get into because i i don't i i i already know it's the energy sucker and some people want you to get into it so that they can suck the energy out of you with some things i just i just slide right on by and and this happens to be you know one of them okay you know when people go well you know the police uh uh crooked they working with uh um uh, um um uh yo got in them who is the police them polices who because i mean if we're gonna file some reports Hey, I want to be on the on the I want to be on the team of what's right. I ain't gonna stand behind nobody that's wrong. I don't give a care if they got a badge or not. So you if if you got the name of the police and it ain't no 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 Photoshop paperwork like what we be seeing on on here, and it's some real paperwork. They ain't gonna they ain't gonna send no Photoshop. Paper. They better not send no Photoshop paperwork to the FBI. Okay, because they gonna be in handcuffs. Okay. But if you got some real, you got some real video, some real paperwork, you know for a fact that uh, certain police, because it's impossible for all of them, but go, you got it to have their hands in everybody's pocket. I got some aunties down there. I know damn well they ain't got their hand in their pocket. Okay. And so, um, yeah, you know, but but people kind of buy into that because it's so easy to feed into the negativity when it's absolutely impossible for every police officer all around the United States to be the exact same people because they are different people come from different homes. But people can't give you names or anything like that. They'll throw out Caroline Mason. Caroline Mason been on there 
police department for probably almost 40 years. She ain't no damn fool. And I ain't even no big fan of Caroline's like that. I work right in the office with her. She ain't, I ain't no big, I was never a fan of hers. Okay. But Caroline ain't no damn fool either. Because there are too many major components and major entities, different entities that is a part of this young dog situation where Caroline ain't get ready to risk her. She got her husband got a big church. She a first lady now. She ain't trying to go go away from that and sit in jail for the likes of your God in them. But it's easy for people to put that into the atmosphere when they when YouTube is how they eat. Okay, and what I I guess what I'm starting to understand now is that it's so many adults, grown people, you know, like with 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 careers and things of this nature that let people suck them in. Okay, and I can understand folks feeling a certain way because all of us want justice for Young Dolph, but I wouldn't let people feed me garbage. I I wouldn't let them get me upset and feed me garbage. OK, just because they got a bunch of damn soldiers that are on mental meds following them. OK, that's sent to they ain't got nothing else to do. This is something that they are a part of. And if, and, and being included in something, if it includes something that's going to get them put in jail in the end, which is violating other people, they do it because they got a mental illness and their job is to make you feel a certain way. That's the reason why I say wait it out. We, them folks got a million pages. At a million pages, I would think folks would be secure. A million pages? The best attorney can't do nothing but make money off of that. That's the reason why I say with Straight Drop's attorney. Hell, Straight Drop attorney want him to go to trial because that man probably stand to make almost a million. He going to hit him over across the head. Whoever paying for them lawyers fees, and I don't blame him because that's what it's about with defense attorneys, creating generational wealth. Hey, I'm all for it. Right? If he can get him off, I guess, you know, he uh, that'll be better for him. But you better believe in the back of his mind, he already know he can't. Okay? So that's why I say, you know, when people go, but you know, they just, they ain't, a, we ain't gonna get the rest of them. Y'all, okay, they got several people already down there. Several. I could see if they didn't have nobody. If they ain't have nobody. I would say, dog, you know, I don't know what they got going mm -hmm. on. Like, I, I want for a young dog to get justice. Like, this ain't looking good. But they got some other folks and people complaining because it's not happening as fast. The people that they feel like are involved. It ain't happening as fast as they want it to happen. And we're all adults and, and we're acting. A lot of us, some of us are acting like children, being impatient. Want them to do a microwave investigation in the process. You let a slick, some slick talking niggas uh, 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 manipulate the truth because they want you to run their cash apps up and their money up. Okay. You know, just like with, with the cookie shop. And I guess I'm gonna have to make this cause I'm going into some this. I'm gonna have to say slash some this on this here. Okay. Um, you know, people feel a certain way about the cookie shop. Okay. And I guess because I've worked for the police department, they feel like I'm supposed to feel uh, those that are mentally ill feel like I'm supposed to feel the way that they feel, although they ain't seen no evidence. They don't know anything about the witnesses. They don't know the witnesses that they working with. They don't know who has turned state's evidence. They don't know a damn thing other than this crap that they done seen on YouTube, okay? That's a lot of it is Photoshop. People hit and miss all the time. Hell, even I've said, I don't know everything and don't want to, not at this point. It ain't even safe to know everything. It ain't, you couldn't know a million pages, okay? But people, some people feel like I'm supposed to feel the way that they feel. And you got, these are people in their 40s and 50s and 60s and 30s, old ass niggas with a, with a, with a, a dysfunctional mentality, okay? 
And so they they go, well, you know, well, you know a cooking shop involved. I don't know a damn thing. Ain't nobody credible told me that. You think I'm going to believe what some YouTubers say that don't know nothing about the case unless they was out there? Some of them are connected to the people that had put a hit on them. But they don't know everything that the police got. Okay? And so um, they go, well, you, 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 are, you know that it's obvious. How is it obvious to me? You know that is obvious. What 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 you know? Tell tell me what you know. Well, what I had no did 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 is uh they had said did 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 and uh the the stories had changed did 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 and I keep saying well you know um y'all do know Raven if she got on here and told the truth I. First of all, a person that went out there couldn't tell me nothing. She wasn't even there. So what she was doing is getting secondhand information. It wasn't even much she could even tell the police. She wasn't there. And so when people say, well, she probably seen a video, that's their damn business. I, I, I'm going to look at video that happened at my business too. I'm going to look right at it. Okay. But as far as things that's leading up to that, she can't tell you that because she wasn't even there. So it might be a change according to who she talked to. And even if she knew everything, and I'm sure the people that worked there told her, Raven can't get on the internet and tell y'all verbatim just because people want to know and make money off of it. Hell, the FBI be staring down her damn throat. Okay? Putting out vital information about a case right but you have people that let other people send them out all because y'all better be careful about who y'all follow i don't put that into the atmosphere i know a lot of these folks is sick and so it's, it's that's why it's easy for them to follow people that violate other people but y'all better be careful about who y'all follow y'all better be real careful about who y'all follow because these folks lead them led y'all to a burning house because when it comes to violating people, there's a thin line between that. You got old ass women that's letting motherfuckers make them get into their car and go and violate somebody. Well, you know, I didn't do nothing. I had just walked in there and bought a cookie. Take pictures when you're in there. And I had took the pictures. Bitch, you 50 years old and you letting somebody send you out to do that? What, what, I mean, what resolve is that? What, I mean, what kind of resolve did you get from that? What, what is the purpose of it? And that's the reason why I say, if you're mentally ill, let me know. Because I might give you a pass. Because I know mental illness is real. But you see a lot of people that's got things going on that's letting folks that ain't never had nothing, ain't gonna never had nothing in awe of how they able to send other people out. In awe of it. And then to brag about, I got folks that'll die for me. They ain't never even met me. And you niggas got kids and stuff. You got families. And you letting somebody send you all over the internet on a witch hunt, violating folks, getting all types of charges fouling all types of charges which is a fouling fake government documents for a nigga that ain't never did nothing but violate and pulling y'all in it okay but then have the nerve to get mad at the police these are the types of people okay that have issues with the police okay because they want to be able to violate and do all this stuff without there being any consequences, okay? Now, I said all that to say this, okay? Let, let me go ahead and, and cause, I, cause I started going in other directions. Let me go ahead and say this. And I'm, and I'm gonna say this too. People have a right to believe what it is that they wanna believe, but don't you ever think that you can tr control me. Don't you ever come into my chat. And say, well, you, oh, come on, that's common sense. It ain't common sense to me, mother sucker. I went out there. I went out there. Okay? And unless, unless you was out there, all you could do is speculate. 
okay? That's all you can do is speculate, okay? Even with the people that I know from the inside, the little stuff that they, the stuff that they do tell me, okay? It's certain things that they won't tell me and I'm glad that they won't because I don't even want to know. Okay? That's how deep this case runs. So if you not got people that won't even, if they trust me and they won't even tell me certain things because that's what it, it ain't, you don't need to know that right now. We can't, I can't say that. You think a Negro or a Negress that never put their feet in Memphis knows. And there are some vloggers that I have to get my props to. Okay. Even if they have not been to Memphis, they do the best they can based on their own little research and stuff. Okay. But to blatantly put out lies to mislead people is absolutely disgusting and despicable. And you got a bunch of old folks, not young folks, because a bunch of these young people would, ain't going to even follow a lot of these Negroes like that. You don't see these are older people that's doing this. My daughter was looking at a vlogger and said, Ma, uh, I wouldn't, I, I could never. Okay. Because the young people know game. It's funny to them. Mama, couldn't nobody leave me like that. Okay, it's funny to them, but you got a bunch of old folks and these are girls that's young and still really trying to find their way in life. And you got a bunch of old folks that settle with families, letting a bunch of losers mislead them. Okay, lead them into a damn burning building while they stand outside the building and watch grinning with their arms folded. Okay. This is what we should be mad at. Instead, we get mad at, you know, uh, uh, people just don't like police anyways. They just don't like them because people don't, some people don't like authority. If a police officer tell you to take your hand out your pocket, y'all, take your hand out your pocket and put your hands on the car. That's all you got to do. If you feel like you were done wrong, then go to internal affairs, okay, and see what you could do about it. But my God, don't go walking back. I'm a man. I'm a man. You can't tell me to put my hand on the car. I'm a man. I'm getting ready to get in my car. Okay. That might be the last time you do it. Sir, don't, 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 don't. This this my pocket knife. You have become a threat to that officer. And so I think that's the problem too. A lot of people just don't want to comply they have issues with respect in ways that you we see that on here old ass folks got issues with respect okay and that's the reason why these kids running the up because they the fathers and mothers and grandmothers and grandfathers of a lot of these children okay and so folks might say well you cuss i don't have my kids show respectful my kids show respectful. Okay. They show respectful. All right. They know how to respect people because their mama taught them better than that. Okay. But yeah, y'all, I just, I had to get on here and talk about that. I just, I did. And those officers that do, that do wrong, you know, people like them. The folks get on here and brag. Yeah, I know some police officers, and he be he be looking out for me. They like those ones. Yeah, he uh, he be he be rolling with us. You know, he grew up in the hood with us. He did. See, people don't complain about them because they doing corrupt stuff for them. Okay, they doing corrupt stuff for them. What's his name? We need to complain on. No, no, no. I grew up. I, I grew up with Lil Rod. No, Lil Rob, cool man. Lil Rob, cool. He, he he i had we he went ahead and let me go little rob cool so so you don't like police officers that make you abide by the law because that's what it all boils down to right because all police officers are not the same when you start talking about police officers that did that to 
um, Tyreek Nichols and uh, and a lot of the other young men that I've seen in other cities. I can't think of one in North Carolina, the other in Ohio. That guy, I was looking at that. Her, that girl was on live, and he the officer told that guy to get his. Um, I can't think of his name. They don't even no nobody even talk about that anymore. I can't think of his name to get his um, ID, and he was going in the glove compartment to get his ID, and the officer shot him right there in the car, and that officer got off. Cold blooded, the guy died right there on live. Young black man hurt me, all because that officer was scared and nervous. That's all it was. He told, he gave him an order and the guy went in the glove compartment to get it. He said, let me see your ID. I guess he felt like the ID was supposed to be on him. She said, you told him to get his ID. It's in the glove compartment. And he shot him. An outrage. And he got off. We're supposed to be outraged about stuff like that. But we're really also supposed to be just as outraged about all this black on black crime. We don't see activists doing that because then when we get out there on the corner and start saying, look here, you know, these folks that's doing this to these little girls in the hood, this, this, and that, these same, a lot of these same people talking about that snitching. They wants to get up and loot when it, it's a police officer. They want a reason to go and run up in somebody's business and take all their stuff and kick the windows out. Won't get up and go to no darn job. But them same people won't get up, okay? Right? And um, 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 go and try to do anything to make their communities better, uh, to, to preach about, stop all this black-on-black -black crime. None of that. You know why? Because the media got us controlled. They're not going to give it no attention. So because people are fame whores and they clout chasers, they want in it. They want to go where the attention that well, talking about black on black crime, don't stopping black on black crime, don't get attention. And they don't want to stop it anyway because they're a part of it or somebody, one of their relatives. So we're going to go over here when a white police officer do this to a black man out. Come all the so-called famous activists that is activists which is an insult the way our community is suffering they only come out when there's a lot of media attention i'm still mad about how them folks preyed on tyreek nichols mother we ain't seen we had not seen the vice president before uh since after the election and and ain't seen them since after tyreek nichols funeral but they went and preyed on that that lady's pain because the cameras was there. Al Sharpton ain't ain't preached, sent, just got the name as a reverend. He don't even come out and all his all these other atrocities and all our people, this poverty and stuff. You don't hear him out because it ain't no cameras. And black on black crime is affecting the community way more, way more. I know a lot of people going to have a difference of opinion, and I welcome that. You know, I ain't mentally ill. You can have your own opinion, but don't you ever come into my chat telling me I'm wrong because I don't feel like you think I should feel. Okay? That's a problem. We can agree to disagree and push on, okay? But anyways, you guys, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. I didn't mean to make this video this long because I got another one to do. But um, I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much. I welcome your opinions, um, you know, based on how you feel. Okay. And it don't have to be how I feel based on how you feel. That's what mentally healthy people do. Right. All right. I love you guys. I'll speak with you later.